Listen to me once again. Mr. Emmanuel Kwe is a member of Michigan Aerospace Manufacturers Association. He is, listen to me carefully, he is the only West Africa representative of um, a Michigan Aerospace Manufacturers Association. He is the only one, the whole West Africa. Mr. Emmanuel Kwe is the African, West African rep representative of Michigan Aerospace Manufacturer Manufacturers Association, uh, West Africa, and Apinson. Apart from that, Mr. Emmanuel Kwe is the Chief Executive Director of Mama Health Africa. Apart from what I said to you earlier on, one of his credentials is that Mr. Emmanuel Kwe is the Chief Executive Director of Mama Health Africa. Mama Health Africa. Mama Health Africa. Okay, so in, in a GP, we go for a short commercial, and when we come back, then we will just have him on air and we'll start our interview. So, whatever that you find yourself, if you're ready, just come go with me, and of course, we carry on. You actually, actually uh, listen to this wonderful piece from the studios in Canada, and of course, working with the Michigan uh, Aerospace uh, Manufacturers, is here in Ghana, of course. And we are the first media house to have this kind of chit chat interview, very brief one, of course, with him. Okay, so we're going for three commercials, and when we come back, like I said, we will try and manage and get him on air so that we will talk more about that. Okay, someday the SMD car car, you know, what so MS tech, I agree, tell you, eh, many car car, and then the other scientists be, ah, or no, eh, if we come here, you and then the media went in the whole United States, both United States of America and Canada. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, please, you are welcome on board to the CTEC Agri Tele. Of course, this program is the, the CTEC show. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Mr. Kwe, um, you are now in the country, and of course, as I speak to you now, you are in the Ashanti region, or say, grown to be precise. Is that correct? Yes, yes, I mean, uh, yes. Oh, okay, 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 that's good. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we have Mr. Emmanuel Quay, who is a member of the Michigan Aerospace Manufacturers Association. And apart from that, he is only he's the only person who is also representing West Africa, the whole of West Africa. Mr. Emmanuel Quay is the African rep of the Michigan Aerospace Manufacturers Association. And besides, he is also the chief executive director of Mama Health Africa. Mr. Quay, is that correct? Yes, Mama Health. Yeah. Mama Health Africa. Okay. All right, Mr. Quay, thank you so much. Uh, my viewers are so eager to uh, uh, listen to you at this wonderful occasion because of your background. Uh, first and foremost, uh, can you throw more light? When we say aerospace, what is aerospace? Okay, uh, then let me start with uh, I, I am the representative of Mama Help. Mama Help, okay. And Mama Help, the Mama is FAMA. FAMA, yes, we can see that here. Yeah, okay. that's Michigan uh -huh. Aerospace Manufacturers Association. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. So you can, yeah, you can really get the answers from the day. Okay. Michigan Aerospace Manufacturers Association. Okay, okay. That means we deal with, yeah, let me put it, 
name my view, if anything that goes into the sky. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Then the help, then the help is H E L P. Mm -hmm. That is humanitarian, mm -hmm. emergency, logistic programs. Oh, okay, okay. That's so you do the two together, you can mama help. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you, Mr. Akwe, for your time. Now, uh, back to the uh, yes. first question that I asked you earlier. And uh, now, uh -huh. um, Mr. Akwe, you've been a scientist, you've been in Canada, and of course, Michigan, United States, and in fact, all those enclaves, you've been there as a Ghanaian. Now, one of your pictures, group pictures that we saw, you were the only black person that can be identified in that particular picture, uh, that group picture that we saw. How do you see yourself being a black man, of course, Ghanaian, working with these white people? You know, uh, most of the guys that are working, of the chief, they are most of them are 99%. I want to say, I want to be our white. Oh, okay. I don't want to bring the color. Yeah, 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 we don't want to even do that. Yes, okay. But uh, they call me, apart from we are colleagues, they call me brother, I call them brother. That's right. We don't see the Korean color barrier. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So oh. I call them, oh, it is them, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. So I don't see them as white. Mm -hmm. I don't, they don't see And they also black. don't see you as black. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When well, we working, we working. Mm. And we see our our this human being. That's all. Mm. That's the wonderful. Working together. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Okay, Mr. Kwe, there is uh, this particular device the medical people will tell us uh, dialysis. Dialysis. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kwe, uh, the little knowledge that we have, or we are not medical, so, but the little knowledge that we have, or education that we have on dialysis machine is that it is one of the important uh, hospital equipment that help most of the parent, uh, patients. Uh, when they are under various kind of diseases and of course it helped them to survive at a point in time. Now, Mr. Kwe, per my inter, you were able to bring about 17 dialysis machines or devices. I think together with your your, your cousin, uh, uh, if you permit me to mention his name, Nika Kaban, mm -hmm. the Tantra Hills yeah. Manche. All right. Yeah. Now, per our inter, uh, Mr. Kwe, uh, you, it seems you found it a little tougher when you enter to bring all these devices from the port. Meanwhile, yeah, you, you just mentioned that you wanted to help the uh, Ghana government by donating some of this thing to some of the hospitals as, as free uh, a donation to them. Uh, can you actually take us through what you went through before you were able to bring out those devices from the uh, harbor? Okay, um, I would like to say a little bit about that. Okay. Normally, uh, we have something that we do that when you solve a bigger problem, mm -hmm. which is not favorable, somehow, okay. we forget about it and we don't talk about it no more. Okay, okay. And we have a saying always the way you get to the river by all means, you find a way to cross the bridge. You cross the bridge, exactly. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't present at all. Okay. It was frustrating and tough mm. before I was able to clear the 17 machines I see. from the port. I see, I see, I see. And I don't want to go there. Yeah, yes, I have this, I have this. Okay, okay. And then we thank God, we clear the machine, okay. we have to go forward. The basic idea is to save life. Exactly. Okay. okay. So we're right. working on that. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kwe. Thank you so much for this patriotism spirit that you have for your mother country, Ghana. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kwe, we've also gotten the information that as I speak to you now, you've taken a number of this dialysis to Ashanti region, and yesterday you posted some videos and pictures while, when you were making the donations. Can you also brief us uh, which particular hospital or clinic you actually sent this thing there as donation? Of course, other uh, medical equipment uh, in, uh, together. Okay. Uh, actually, like you said, I was going to give it to the mm. so that we can collaborate, work together, and help. And now my main idea of what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to open the dialysis here. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's going to call Mama Hair. All right. Dialysis here. Mm. Okay. Yesterday, as I'm talking to you, I spoke with some and my 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 head of it, let me say that. Mm-hmm. They were so happy about it and they wanted to help me. I see. 
to the promise of giving me two uh, air ambulance that helicopters. Wow, wow. And they will give me unmounted aerial vehicles. Mm -hmm. That is drawn. Okay. We call it uh, unmounted aerial vehicles. I see. And also some ambulances, wheelchairs, licensing machines, so that I can just take off the of the ground. Mm. And my main idea, you know, this uh, chronic kidney. Uh, the problem that we have, okay. Mm. Yeah, mostly it's money. Mm. If you don't have money, you go. <laughs> because I think the government charge about 2,500 Ghana cities okay. per treatment. And how, how many people can even afford that? Mm. That's it. Mm. But we pray that we've got to make this very soon. We start saving lives. We might even charge just 500 cities. Wow, wow. And that's why that's the case for maintenance mm -hmm. of the place. Oh, okay. And also to be able to take care of our staffs. Mm -hmm. That's the basic idea. That's very, very, very wonderful uh, ideology that you have for this. Now, Mr. Quinn, tell us. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, you were able mm -hmm. to bring all these devices. In fact, uh, just clear it from the port with your own, let me permit me to say, with your own money. And for that matter, uh, you wanted to save life, as you mentioned earlier on. Uh, for that matter, you have even started distributing some of these machines to various, and, and even your athlete want to uh, establish a very wonderful uh, uh, clinic purposely for uh, these particular devices. Now, Mr. Quay, you are Ghanaian. And Ghana, we have this uh, culture, uh, this kind of culture in us, uh, the maintenance culture. Definitely, you are going to work with uh, your fellow Ghanaians here whilst you are here. Of course, I'm talking about handling the, those devices, the dialysis machine is very costly, as you all know. And you know, Ghana, as I said earlier on, this maintenance culture is very, very poor. Uh, what is your take? What do you want to say about that one in terms of maintenance culture once you've donated to this various clinic already? Okay, uh, I know, like you said, we are lack of maintenance for mm. I've been setting down, we need it gets to squat mm. or tea or whatever. I could have done this for free, which still I'm working on this that I can help some other work it out so that some people can come in, mm. the less privileged people, those who could have maybe live with some insurance companies or whatever, okay. so that it will be easier on people. And the reason we are going to charge this particular cities for treatment just mm. for us to be able to maintain okay. the hospital okay. and maintenance. Sure. And also pay the, uh, our technicians, our doctors, our staff, those who are working there. And we should all, always make sure that we have to be top of the line. Mm. Mm. Yeah, to okay. get the plan that we have with. That's why we are charging that token. Otherwise, we should make it free for everybody. All right. Okay. Okay, so we thank you for that. And like I said earlier on, we also hope and pray that uh, the Ghanaians who will actually be working with you at that particular edifice, uh, they should also make sure that uh, they will operate the machine to the expectation and also take very good care because we live in Ghana and we know what we are talking about. Our culture of maintenance is very, very weak. So now that you know, you also, also will do their best to help you maintain that kind of uh, uh, costly devices. Okay, uh, there is a way that we go that we unpublish. And I've been to that mission two times. That's unpublished. Because what we do is, if something, the uh, international state agent, if something spoil or you got to see something on it, we have a way that we send you there. Mm -hmm. Because then we deal with that. Okay. We deal with that. You know, so it's got, we call it spread. You go, you check everything as it is. So you won't even wear, wear a jacket because you won't get out of there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So when you check everything first, you see, then you come down. So when you have to go or you have to send somebody on the mission, you can and tell the person, tell the person exactly what you say to do. Because then you calculate, because the time, because of the time, you start. Okay. Yeah, because then, even we have something called number 30. 
which is very, very, very important. In terms of nanoseconds, it's just one second divided, divided into one million times. Wow. Yeah, which you don't see, but in our world, let me put it that way. It's a long time. In a long time, that is a too small minute. So we will take and put all these things into consideration. So we prepare somebody to go and work in the ashes or to do something. And let me go a little bit deeper. What we do with the Bible is combined with what is the Bible. Everything that is in the Bible. You can't take the Bible away from what we do and you can't take what we do away from the Bible. Or you can't take sense away from God. You can't take God away from science. It is written. Now we are working on people to do smart. You will leave it. And when you get to Mars, you will never die anymore. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And if you break it down in the scriptures, it's Jesus said in my father's house. There are many mansions. Okay. And when I live there, you do. And when you get there, then nobody will die no more. Mm -hmm. okay. So everything is in the scriptures. Yeah, so we are working on it. Oh, okay. So let's hope that mm -hmm. very soon, it is soon. If you work and it will be, you will go there and it's like, but that's the end of no return anyway. When you yeah. go there, you can't come back to Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because I was thinking that when you ask you, because of the gravitational force you have there, you can go there and do it. Now, I'll get you yeah. out of that and then you get to the other one. Okay. Yeah. So, thank you for your time. And you can walk the top at Agnes, but you will be to the top at Agnes. Then you'll be able to come back to Agnes. Uh, you'll come to the day to you. And of course, we have a very good interview again, and that. Uh, but thank you for your time. Okay, thank you for having me on the program. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Okay, so lovely listeners, like I was telling you, we just talked to Mr. Emmanuel Way, who is a member of the Missionary Aerospace uh, uh, Producers, and who is also a Ghanaian and is now in a commercial presented dialysis and other things. And so many questions that these students also brought and we forwarded to him and he also gave accurate answers to all those questions. Uh, once again, uh, my name is Collins and of course this is where we go and get in for today's wonderful show. Mm -hmm.